We've compared good notes with notability, notability with not shelf, and not shelf with good notes. Still, we get asked the question, which one should I get of these three applications? In an effort to answer that question, here's today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Lake Coloring Books, an app that helps you relax and de-stress creatively. They have a wide range of coloring books that are ideal for everyone, children too. You can download their app for free to try it out and we will have a link in the description down below. This video is not going to cover every aspect of these three applications. We are just going to highlight what is outstanding about each of these. If you wish to have a breakdown of all their features, please head over to our website. We have a table doing just that. We will have a link to that in the description down below. Are you big on paper templates or do you want an app with fully functional planner templates? Not Shelf's got you covered. They have a lot of paper templates to choose from that cover a lot of different aspects of your life, which is very useful. If you are big on using native templates for note-taking apps, then you should consider using this application. Not Shelf is also the only app of the three that allows you to export your notes to Evernote directly. If you use Evernote, Not Shelf and Evernote will be a great combination. The handwriting experience in Not Shelf can easily compete with that in Notability if it's not better. However, since their first version of the application, Not Shelf suffers from a bug that causes the application's handwriting to lag. Should this bug plague your app, the user experience in Not Shelf can easily turn sour. Which is why we are skeptical to acknowledge the handwriting experience as the best. That and also the fact that the application tends to alter your handwriting. If you like your handwriting, this might not be such a good thing. If handwriting conversion to text is a great part of your work, Not Shelf is definitely the app you want. Not only does this application support many more languages, 65 languages in total, it also has a very unique experience. Not Shelf keeps the color of your ink when you convert it to text. And it just gives that special something to the application, just like we love their emoji feature. Of the three apps, Not Shelf is the most unstable, which is sad because it's quite a decent application. Notability takes up the least space on your iPad. It also happens to be the most stable of the three applications. Notability of all the three applications has the best handwriting experience. This is debatable since we all have different preferences when it comes to that sort of thing and that's perfectly fine. Most people however do prefer the handwriting experience in Notability. Notability also has the audio recording feature which you either find extremely useful or extremely useless depending on your workflow. Students might find this very useful during classes and lectures to help capture everything, though with COVID-19 and online lectures, this might not be that useful anymore. Notability's recording feature doesn't work when you are in a Zoom meeting or any kind of online meeting using your iPad. For you to still use this recording feature in Notability, you need to have a second device. Most lectures are recorded anyway, which makes this feature obsolete. The last reason you might want to buy Notability instead of the other two applications is that you get to add so much more in Notability than you can in GoodNotes and NoteShelf. You can add stickers, GIFs, web clips, and sticky notes. Both Notability and NoteShelf have a very decent text tool. So if you deal with a lot of text, the application you want to go for is either NoteShelf or Notability. GoodNotes is the cheapest at $7.99 for all the three versions of the application, a one-time universal purchase. But is it really the cheapest? GoodNotes happens to create the biggest files of these three applications. So if you intend to use it as your main note-taking app, you will be needing an iPad with much bigger storage. Your iPad's memory is not expandable. So for now, in 2020, the least storage you should be considering getting is 256. And if you're going to be using GoodNotes, we suggest doubling that. This will make your iPad future-proof. Those of us using GoodNotes, please do share your experiences. GoodNotes is the best app for multitasking. 
GoodNotes supports multiple instances and multiple tabs. You can open a lot more documents in the application than you can in the other two apps. GoodNotes is also the best PDF reading app of the three. Of course, it's a basic PDF reader, but that is probably all you will need if you want an app to read and highlight your PDFs, which is very basic PDF reading. Generally speaking, GoodNotes is known for its feature-rich user interface. You can do so much more and work with much more ease in GoodNotes than you can in Notability and Notshelf. They recently improved their text tool, but it still needs some work. So if you work with a lot of text, you will need a different application that is not good notes. 30 lucky winners stand to win one promo code each for liquid text. We have 10 promo codes for the iPad, 10 for Mac OS, and 10 for Windows. To stand a chance to win, please head over to our Instagram pages at Paperless Student or at Paperless X. Follow us tag as many friends as you can that you think should be going paperless. Let us know which promo code you are entering for because they are different systems. Let us know which one you want. What app are you using? Why did you settle for that app? Let's help others make the right decision when picking their note-taking app by sharing our experiences in the comment section down below. And this brings us to the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you awesomely fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.